Hello everyone and welcome to Fear 2 Project Origin, the first direct sequel to Fear, not counting the expansion packs, which are not in the same continuity as the original Fear. This game here is not as good as the first Fear. It's not a bad game, the problem is more that I consider it to be worse than the original Fear in pretty much every regard. Story and gameplay and is even the graphics look worse in some regards. And it's also a uh, not so well done console port. You can already see that by the start screen here where it says press to continue space. And yeah, I think I'm going to go deeper into this while we play the game. As I've said before, it's not a bad game, or at least it's not the worst game. The thing is just, it could be so much better, but it's not. But anyway, I'm going to play it. So let's start a new campaign. And yep. Normal difficulty is fine. Yeah, this game does have an expansion pack, Reborn, and I'm going to play that but after the main campaign. So let's dive straight into it. Oh yeah, I already started this game because I did some test recordings, so obviously... Oh yeah, you can't even have multiple playthroughs at the same time because this game no longer supports individual saves. It only has checkpoints now and unless you want to manually back up all your save files, you can't run two camps at the same time, which is another downgrade from what Fear 1 had to offer. So here we are. We are a yet unnamed character. Here's Alma, as expected. She's got her signature teddy bear, which she may or may not have had in the previous games, not quite sure about that. Anyway, let's follow her into this glowing hole in the ground. That seems safe enough to me. Looks like molten gold, to be honest. But it's not. It's, in reality, it's a helicopter. That seems awfully out of place. So, jump scare. Nice of you to join us, sunshine. Sit down, Red. Beckett, I need to check your visor calibration. Good, you're set. What do they want this Aristide chick for anyway? Don't know, don't care. We don't question orders, Red. We execute them. Stokes, give us what you got. Our target is Genevieve Aristide. President of Armacam Technology Corporation. Intel indicates she's holed up at her penthouse. Our job is to secure the site and take her into custody. Protective custody. I don't want any breakage, even if she resists. And there's every reason to believe she might. We believe she's directly linked to the bloodbath at Armacam headquarters. Like I said, don't know, don't care. She's a high value target and we've been tasked to bring her in, so that's what we're gonna do. I want this by the book and fuck up free. Lighten up, Top. She's a suit. What's she gonna do? Send a nasty text message? She's not the problem. CENTCOM thinks Armacam's board of directors may be trying to cover their tracks, which could include making sure RSD keeps her mouth shut. Fox, you're with Stokes. Keegan, you're with me. Beckett, Red, Manny will drop you off in front of the building. We'll link up in the lobby. Shit. Why do I gotta get stuck with Bucket? Because I don't like crybabies. Now, let's move. All right, here we go. Trigger discipline. Our mission is to find Aristide, not cap her ass. This op is bullshit, man. What's so important about this chick that the cops can't pick her up? They'd just be glad they didn't divert us to Armagam HQ. The recon team they sent in got ripped to shreds. That situation is getting out of control. This is your stop, guys. So here we go. Half of our team is gone already. 
me and Yanukovsky are going to apprehend Aristides. Yeah, story-wise, this takes place just before the end of the original fear. Looks quiet, Tom. All right, we're heading inside. And this is yet another fear team. Well, I shouldn't say yet another fear team because. Since Perseus' mandate and extraction points are no longer canon, with regard to this game, this is just the second fear team. So here we are. Hey Tom, somebody wasted a janitor in the men's room. Point blank in the back of the head. Something down in the lobby too. One confirmed, another probable. Check about the blood. Hey, just in case you want... Man, just in case... I could really go for an extra hot, no whip, white chocolate macchiato. Shut up, I was talking. So just in case you're wondering where my hut is, yeah, I'm playing this hut free with a hut free mod because the game's hut are those cyber glasses everybody has. Well, actually, only it seems to be well, only I have them. They're very distracting and they look hideous. So I can no longer see what my health, grenades, ammo, everything else are. I think that gate's locked, dude. But you don't really want to climb all those stairs, do you? So I just deactivate completely. It does mean I can no longer see how much ammo I have left. To be honest, I don't even care. The hut is so ugly, I don't really want it in my way. You could briefly see it during that scene where it was flickering. If it does flicker, it does reappear. Beckett was admiring the scenery. We've got trouble. Let's go. I'm in trouble. Just a cider mercenary. But yeah, but the night crawlers, uh, they're not in this game. But they're different mercenaries. But we'll get to that. So here is. Ooh, carnage. Our intel shows this is a private elevator to Aristide's penthouse, but it's been locked down. I'll need a minute to override the system, unless you'd rather take the stairs. Fuck. Oh yeah, this is another thing in this game. So there are these these intel pieces of intel you can pick up, but I'm not going to read them out for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's it really interrupts the flow. Oh yeah, by the way, here you can see those those glasses. If I hadn't activated the hood, those would be on the screen at any given time, and they are really ugly. So what I'm going to do instead is just skip them, because this game's story mostly overlaps with what we've learned in Fear 1, and there are no real surprises, so for the most part you already know what's what has happened. If you haven't watched my Fear 1 playthrough, feel free to watch it, or oh, don't, if you don't want to watch it. And, but I'm not going to read all of these out because the first fear had uh, an interesting approach just telling the story via those phone calls or rather those messages which isn't the best method to get the story across because you have to basically read all of them but then again it's also interesting to have to figure out yourself what actually happened but here it's, it's yet another downgrade instead of getting an audio message you just have a wall of text and there are a lot of these in the game so I'm not going to read those out. Hey, somebody sure bled out fast. Probably took one to the aorta. The aorta? You think it was the carotid or the subclavian artery? Dude, making fun of a man for his knowledge is a sign of insecurity. We need to find Aristide now. Agreed. Box, secure the lobby. Red, take the stairwell. Rest of you, you're with me. The stairs? Oh. What the fuck, Top? It's like a thousand fucking stories. Like I give a shit. Stop complaining. Ooh. What is it? Interference. Taken. And that did go well. Oh, and I'm I'm oh I'm almost stuck here. So this is one of the armor cam mercenaries. Stokes, Beckett, get moving. Body armor stopped most of the rounds, top, but one got through. How bad? Not good. But he'll live. Yeah, and we're going to fight these guys for the first part of the game. So here's one of our buddies. She's a female character, and her main trait is that she's the female character. She's also a friendly person. Hell of a view, huh? That is true. Alright, Beckett, it's just the two of us. Stay sharp. I'm counting on you. And as usual in fear, you get separate from your team because it wouldn't be fear without that. Yeah, she's needed for the plot of fear one, so you can't shoot her. Wait 
So let's just murder these guys here. They're just generic mercenary types, really. So we've got this submachine gun. We also have this futuristic pistol here. It, it, it sounds like it sounds like a total pea shooter, and it also it's about as strong as one. And the worst part is that we can't can't dual wield pistols in this game. So another feature they removed, and it's really sad because pistol is not that strong. So that it should have at least given us the option to whoa 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 whoa, whoa. Nice job, to dual wield pistols. Anyway, so this is. Some ammo, this is a health pickup. My health is still full, I got some hits, but I've got body armor and I've got health. Hey, I'm collecting stuff. So don't stop complaining. There's body armor, there's also though, those large med picks. You can carry those around, but these small injection style thingies, you can only use them once and where they are. And more dead people. The blood in this game looks a little bit stylized, which looks a little bit weird. And overall, I think the graphics, they just seem to be less effective for some reason. They are not bad. I just prefer the ones from Fear 1. And um, there's another chopper. So here's some body armor. Let's collect it. Oh, it's actually full. Well, that's interesting. Implying that I didn't... The RST collection. I didn't take any sh any hits, which is surprising. I just destroyed some valuable antiques. What a shame. Can I punch this? Can you hear me? Please hurry. My building's under attack. I think it's Colonel Vanek's men. He's the Yep, and interruption. Bloodthirsty bastard that cleans up messes for the board of directors. I'm dead if they find me. Uh, poor, poor Aristide. Well, she's she's not really all that likable, so... But anyway, so here I've got a nice view. A very glowy view. This game is very glowy at times. And... Oh yeah, the, the colonel, he's essentially your, your evil military guy. Who does il evil military guy stuff. And here we've got a health pack. Those are essentially the health packs from the first fear. You can use them whenever you want, what those health syringes have have to be used whenever you find them, or not be used at all. So... Hey guys, how it's, how's it going? Oh, where... Oh, there you are. There. Yeah. These, these first guys, they're not very, not very difficult to defeat. You don't have slow-mo yet, but... These guys don't really pose much of a threat. The AI in this game is not really more advanced than the one in Fear. It's it's alright. It's not... I have a feeling the environment doesn't really allow for the AI to flank all that well. Which the Fear AI was really good at. But it gets better later. Overall, the oh, hey. There you go. You can't really complain. The AI is better than a lot of other games published at the same time. Okay. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Sorry, no stunts. And... Oh, yeah, there, I see you. Oh, no, I, I don't see you anymore. Never mind, so... Any, oh, there you are. Did I get both of you? I think I did. And that's not explodey. So let's be careful here. Oh, yeah, you can flip cover and stuff. It's not terribly useful because this isn't really a cover based shooter, at least not in the sense that you have a sticky cover mechanic and everything. So let's punch our way through here. Yeah, we still punch really hard, like fear protagonists usually do. In fact, everybody in fear punches hard. Even your enemies. There are a bunch of enemies whose me melee attacks are a lot more scary than their ranged attacks so is there anybody else around no okay so was there anything of interest here that's a question a 
doesn't really look like it, so never mind that. Here's more stuff. Yeah, I've got... those are just standard grenades. Where are you? Oh, there you are. So you're dead? Yeah, this game is a definitive console port and it suffers from a couple of console port issues. They are, they are only checkpoints and no no regular saves, so if you want to stop your game in between checkpoints, you're out of luck. And I like that the game tells you saving, please don't turn off your power. I mean, how many people would actually... Yeah, that's, that's a nice excuse. How many people... Yeah, look at that. Saving content, please don't turn off your computer. How many people go to a checkpoint and then just pull the plug on their computer? Nobody does that. So you're dead. Don't want to fall down here. Oh, don't want to fall down here. That was very shaky. And that's apparently a bulletproof glass for no real reason. Apart from the game not wanting me to go there. So I, I, I just, I'm just wondering how many people actually do that. The answer is probably nobody. Oop. Oh, Amas is crawling around here. It's really dark. But our torch still works. So let's explore a little bit. Yeah, the horror in this game, again, it's not it's not that great, but what is better, and I'll freely admit that, is the fact that... Oh, there you are. That it does rely less on jump scares, which is nice. Not that the original Fear had too much, too many jump scares, but I preferred... And this looks a lot more friendly. Will do. So here are the showers, I guess. So let's collect some armor. Here we go. Oh, there you are again, Alma. Arm yeah, Alma isn't really hostile in this game. She just seems to be more more curious about you. So here we go. I think I killed the third guy accidentally just by shooting the other guy. So here we go. Medical injector. Yeah, it's not that important that I know my actual health because that's not a whole lot I can do about it. When I run low, I'm going to see it and use a health pack, but for the most part you're fine with injections. So anything of interest down here? Doesn't look like it. So let's punch this. That's a sturdy vase. And let's go upstairs. I like how this guy... This guy's death scream was the same as his kick door scream. This looks very uncomfortable. Wow, the, those things are sturdy. Got a Pokeball. And... Yeah, that's just a little bit of a hint. Here's a really nice bathroom. Bathtub. Spacious shower. Even though I prefer the ones where you can actually take off the shower head, but that's just me. And let's use this one here. We have already seen that before. This can't go on. She's too dangerous. You're telling me to seal my daughter away. You knew it would come to this. We both knew. Ooh, and here we are. No, I'm not going to not going to turn off my computer right now. No worries. Sergeant Beckett, where's the rest of the team? We don't have much time. You and your squad are the only hope of stopping Alma. Uh, what's with the first fear team? You know, the one with the super reflexes guy who is the clone of 
of Alma's son and everything. Okay, well, uh, never mind. My God, it's her. That stubborn son of a bitch probably just killed us all. Sergeant Beckett, what's wrong? What is it? Ooh, and more interference. Yeah, that was Harlan Wade releasing armor. And that's also what triggered the events of Extraction Point and the events of the latter half of the original fear. So let's just explore a little bit. In this not so friendly environment. Oh, by the way, there's a, there's a grain filter for this game, so if you want, want it to be even grainier than it already is, you can do that, but nah. I choose not to apply the grain filter. So even though I'm not not saying it looks bad, but I just don't like it. Ooh. There's adult armor. What the hell was that? There goes the vault. Which is the fourth time we're we're seeing this, but it's a mushroom cloud, so I'm not going to complain. Look at the beautiful, beautiful glow. And that effect actually looks pretty sweet. Not gonna lie here. Get them aboard. We don't have much time. And that, my friends, was the first interval of Fear 2 Project Origin. As I said before, it's not a terrible game. It's just a little bit sad that it's the downgrade from the first Fear in pretty much every regard. But anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, we shall see what kind of plans Aristide has with us. Take care and goodbye.